In this video, you will learn what a specification is and how you code to a specification. When you are first learning to do software development, you necessarily learn how to do it as an individual or perhaps as a pair working together. But in real life, almost all software development is done by lots of people working together, either as a team within an organization or as an open source project to which anyone in the world can contribute. To make this work, the people working together have to have techniques for saying things like, here is what my part of the project does, and here is what I need your part of the project to do. We'll call these parts components of the project. Each component can be thought of as a box for which you specify three things. First, what information needs to flow into the box. Second, what information the box will send back to the component that is using this box. Third, what this box, in doing its work, changes in the world outside the box. For example, reading or writing to the console, drawing on a graphics window, writing to a file, or turning on a robot's motor. We call these changes side effects. We call these three things put together the specification of the component. Sometimes the specification needs to specify other things too like how fast the component must do its work, or what is the most space that it can use to do so. But the three things listed are the most universal parts of any specification. Note that the specification does not say how the component works. It specifies only what the component must compute. For that reason, we call the component that is specified a black box. We know how it interacts with the things outside it, but we know nothing about its insides. Specifications occur at all levels of a project. For example, the team talks with the client to determine what the client wants the software to accomplish. The sub-team leaders work together to specify the basic architecture of the project and how the main subparts interact. At the finest level of detail, we specify the behavior of each function. That's the level at which you will work for the first couple weeks of this course. Here is a very simple example. The specification of this function is written via the def expression and the comment that appears immediately after it. This specification specifies the name of the function is car loan. The function needs three pieces of information, which we call the parameters of the function. The objects of information are intended to be, in order, the amount of a car loan in dollars, the monthly payments in dollars, the interest rate expressed as a percentage. The function sends back or returns the number of monthly payments required to pay off the loan, assuming that interest is calculated monthly based on the amount of the loan remaining before that month's payment. The preconditions specify conditions that the function expects to be in place when the function runs. We'll talk more about them later. If we both agree on the specification, and you write the function per the specification, then I can use your function without knowing its insides by calling your function, as in these examples that I might use to help someone understand the effects of higher monthly payments or a more expensive car, etc. The specification makes sure that I don't make mistakes like using the wrong name for the function, or putting the arguments that I send in the wrong order, or expressing interest rate as a fraction instead of a percentage, or assuming that your function calculates interest continuously rather than monthly. In the first exercises you do after this video, the functions you implement will be particularly simple. They will have no parameters and will not return a value. They will only perform side effects, as in this example. We will very quickly get to more interesting functions, but we can't do everything at once. Another video in this sequence shows me working a complete example of implementing a function per its specification. Be sure that you watch it after you learn about input and output in the next video.